My name is Stefan Heyman. I am the R&D engineer here at Brucom Distribution. Um, company of Brucom, we are a wire harness manufacturer. We design and manufacture um, wiring for automotive and white goods vehicles. And my job role in particular in this company is the design and development of connector systems, jigs, here in the 3D printers. A lot of the work that we do is uh, back engineering pre-existing parts as an easy way to manufacture vast quantities of connectors which are either hard to get, expensive or just impossible to get. My name's Simon Twiner, I'm the engineering manager here at Brewcom. I'm relatively new to the company. I came in knowing about 3D printed technology but not actually having much input to it and part of my team is the design and manufacture of 3D printed products in the commercial world. We have, at the time when I came in, a bank of 10 and working with the team that we have, we are able to produce test jigs and bespoke connectors for our clients and customers, as well as our own production staff to enable the production to be easier and more cost effective. It's a cost effective means of doing it. We make everything from connectors which will make into the actual mating half all the way up to test jigs and wire straightening jigs to allow employees to work more efficiently over the course of their time here. It gives us great advantage in the fact that we can do bespoke items for our customer as well as bespoke items for ourselves and it means we can do high quality, high volume when required to meet the customer needs. My name's Dominic Riley. Uh, I work at Brewcom, been here for about two years now. Uh, I'm responsible for clearing the 3D print room of a product a couple of times a day uh, and making sure that it goes to where it needs to be done uh, forward in production. It's good for the fact that things can be made in-house. Uh, we don't have to rely on bringing in things from outside companies, outside countries as well, so it's always good to produce in-house. Modifications can be done in-house as well. Uh, you haven't got a time delay between here and the, the company that you're importing from. We use the Race 3D Pro 2s. Uh, we have 12 of them in this room here. When we first started looking at 3D printing, we found that the Pro 2s being completely self-contained, we don't need to worry about what environment they're in. And the build volume and the quality of the prints that come out of it were just far superior to anything else we found on the market. On average, it's anything from about 100 to 1,000 prints in a day. We need rapid facilities to build parts within the next day. The materials, all of the prints that we use are currently PLA. Uh, we buy the Race 3D PLA. Um, it's a nice, easy, uh, materials to work with, it's nice and easy for us to be able to design and develop. In terms of software, I use Fusion 360. It's a very easy design package, very easy CAD package, and it does everything that we need for the company, which goes from additive and subtractive manufacturing, which we would have elsewhere, and then the idea maker, which is Raise 3D's slicing software. Our biggest challenge, at least at the beginning, when we only had one printer and then two printers was quantity. We needed hundreds of connectors in the space of a week to two weeks. We cannot feasibly get that level with the number of printers that we had. So we bought more. Uh, we originally wanted the ROI to be approximately six to 12 months. However, these machines have already paid for themselves a bit three.